Hey guys, Mike here. This vid is for Wind Turbine 1983. Uh, he collects wind turbines. He has a pretty cool collection. So uh, he asked me to make a vid of mine, so I'm gonna. This is uh, my wind turbine. Uh, I found it laying on the side of the street. Well, when I used to live in New York, because now I moved to New Jersey, as you all know. Just telling him because he's a new friend of mine. Um. Yeah, I just happened to pick this up on the side of the street. It was with the other garbage, and it looked fine. I think it came from the roof. There's, eh, Paint looks fine. It's aluminum, 8-inch. I actually have no need for this unless we build a shed outside. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm still going to hold on to it just in case. But uh, it's pretty, it's in pretty good shape. Spins fine. Uh, yeah, have a, also guys, if you're wondering how my motor's doing, well, uh, I wired it up professionally here, we have the 10 gauge coming in here, some, uh, 14 gauge Romex junction box, goes to this heavy duty 10 gauge grounded cord, if you're wondering how many amps this draws, it draws 8.4 amps on 115 volts, if you hook it up to 240 or 230, it's 4.2 amps. So that's just an update on the motor. I also mounted it to this board. Big bolts. Um, it's my workshop right here, kind of. I uh, have this nice little jigsaw I thought I'd make a bit of. Also, Black & Decker. Water-cooled air conditioner update. Drilled a hole in the side for the tubes. Still leaking. Uh, we're going to have to put some Teflon tape here down there. It just drips. It's not leaking as bad as before, but just drips. There's the Dayton fan. God, I got lots of stuff to do. Fish tanks down here because it sprung a leak. Poor fish died. Uh, yeah, so here's my workshop. Uh, if you guys didn't know something about me, I am a very good electrician. My spin tights are up here. Look what I got up here. This. This. I have so many screws and nails up here, it's unbelievable. Staples, those are good to have. Nails, so I do a bit of my workshop too, so I am. I am also a very good person when it comes to construction. I can build something and I just, I'm great at it. I built a shed before. I want to do it again. So yeah, a bunch of electrical stuff. Lots more electrical stuff in here, a bunch of crap. Uh, some stuff over here, saw blade. There's my belt drive blower back there. You know, I'm just gonna make a bit of my workshop since I am now I'm now doing this. So it just sits light, please. Oh, okay. It just sits up on the shelf right there. Here is where I keep my wiring. This is some DC wire. We have the 12 gauge Romex. We have 10 gauge wire, we have a bunch of caulking, we have screws, we have more nails, we have these big ass nails. Heavy duty 20 amp switch. I have another one that's up in there. So that's where I keep all my stuff whenever I need it. And just show you what I built. I've built this. I've built this. I made this and I never knew it would be here. Mercury Vapor Light. I also ran a Romex line. The remaining 25 feet of the other 14 gauge Romex I had. Ran it over here to this switch right here. Now we have to call a licensed electrician to come and see if we can run some other lines over from the circuit breaker. If that, I'll hook one up to here. So just when I walk in my shop, you know, put the light on because uh, we're going to be finishing up this shop. And just, it's going to be nice. Uh, so yeah, it's. My workshop and a bunch of stuff, a bunch of paint. So much stuff, I'll probably have to do a part two vid to this. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Mike out. That's a vid of my workshop, a vid for Wind Turbine 1983. Thanks for watching. Mike out. Gotta go. School. Final exams. <laughs> it's not the end of school, but in my school, you change classes. So I had my first semester. Now I'm going into my second semester. The way it works in my school, I don't know, four-block scheduling. Four classes a day, not eight. Thanks, Mike out.